If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. I post a new Tom Brady video every day. Among all the greats stood two players who seemed larger than life. Where do you stand on the Montana Brady of it all? The fact that Brady has four, he could have five, but the fact that Joe has three, never lost, his numbers in the Super Bowl are are well, comparable, uh, but there's a zero in the loss column. What, if, what if Brady is now loses and goes to four and three instead of five and two? Right. Is, is it that fine of a line between greatest quarterback of all time when you have five or if you, you have four, but you've been to seven of these? Tom is the best. I've been asked that question for many years, and Johnny Yu was my hero. Otto uh -huh. Graham was great, slinging Sammy Ball. I go back, you know, these guys. These are the are guys great. you watched. But meantime, Tom has been challenged more in recent history, certainly, with huge games than anyone I could recollect, and he stepped up every yeah. time. It's Here, unbelievable. Ask a Niner fan, though, and that that's an open and shut question. Open and shut. They won't even, I, I don't even think. They won't even... A Niner fan will even entertain the conversation. No. no. Joe never lost. That's what they'll say. Right. Joe never lost. And Tom went to twice as many. I know that. But Tom, Tom, the most Tom's ever won in a row is three. Joe went to four. Yeah, he's thinking... <laughs> like... Like the Tyreek the Tyree catch blew up that part of the argument. And, and you know what? Because he would have won four in a Niner row if they won that one. Niner fans can live in denial for the rest of their I'm lives. I'm telling you, I've spoken to Niner fans who are like, this open and shut question. Would Tom Brady be number one? I'm still battling with him and Joe Montana. Really? I am. You know, because I'm not going I, – I, listen, I understand Super Bowl wins and such, but, but there's the how do you play – how do you play even if your team loses? You know, that's why, you know, Marino never won a Super Bowl, but I played with the guy, played against the guy. I know how he plays. I know he's an all-time great quarterback. So I'm not just looking at the fact that, you know, you have five Super Bowls. I get it, you know, but early on in those Super Bowls, it was more of a defensive-led team. So I look, I try to look a little more into it, and I guess the question comes down to, I, because it's a modern era, I've seen all these guys, these guys play. I've played against a number of these guys as well. And if, if I had a Super Bowl and I had to name a starting quarterback, I'm not sure if I'd go Brady or Montana. I don't know if I'm not still leaning toward Joe Montana. 15-year-old Tom also was on hand to witness Joe's final touchdown pass as a 49er. Where they're similar is when they walk out on the field and you know they're on, you win. Do you believe you are better than Joe Montana? And I want the true no. answer. That's a lie. No. You're lying now. <laughs> <laughs> you have the Super Bowl no, rings. Would... You have all. You have. You have defeated Joe Montana in every way, and yet you don't think you're better than him. Um. Again, it's an impossible question to answer. Tell the truth. Well, my default when you lay down at no, night, you are I, better than Joe Montana. I've accomplished. I've had more Super Bowl rings than him. I think it's objective, right. and I think. No, it's, it's not. I think you know. <laughs> Listen uh, to me. I've you're never, greater than Joe sorry, Montana. Tom, <laughs> Tom, say it proudly. Thank you for saying that. I can't say that. I would never say that. I think that everyone, you know, I, I, that's not how, can I say this? It's not how I think about myself. You know, the only thing that I care about is, am I the best I could be? That's really what I care about. That's what you I've are tried the to be best. for my entire career. I'm the Listen. best I could be. <laughs> what a great back and forth. When you laid your head when down. When you lay your head down. <laughs> Cut the crap, Tom. You're better than him. I mean, he's so good. It would have been great to hear Brady say, yeah, I am. Well, he'll never say that. Never he does. doesn't. No, I understand he's not a that. chest thumper. But it would have been cool. But he did say at one point, I do have more rings in him. He does. More accomplished. He does have more rings. Between them, they have 10 Super Bowl rings. Is he the best that ever played? I'm one that coach yes. People think, you know, playing with John Elway or playing with a Montana or, or a Tom Brady is easy. It's not because they demand so much out of you because they demand so much out of themselves. You know that it's not an eight to five for them. They're getting film. They're watching two, three, four hours of film at home. So when it gets to a down and distance in an area of the field, they expect you to remember that you practiced this mm. and you've gone over this. So they don't want to hear my bad, especially mm. now. My bad gets you sent home. My bad causes you to lose Super Bowls. Montana never threw for 
30 touchdown passes in a season. But he was a great – you could be a field general mm-hmm. and also be a great passer. And that's what I thought Joe was. Whereas Bart Starr was a great field general or Bob Greasy, a great field general. They weren't necessarily great passers. Montana was a great passer, but he was also a field general. Brady is both of those as well. But Joe was doing it at a different time. I do think Brady, with what he's done, given the skilled position players around him, oh, yeah. is the most remarkable thing through all of this, that he doesn't have all pro running backs. His all pro tight end is not even playing. Um, you take a guy off the scrap heap in Hogan, you get a, re- a converted quarterback in Edelman. Uh, it's just remarkable who they put in there. You know, LeGarrette Blunt was cast off by the Steelers after he walked off the sideline during a game. Mm-hmm. And it's somehow they make it work. But yes, and it's a tribute to Belichick as well. But Brady's the one who has to make it work when you put the pieces out there on the field. No matter how great Belichick is, Brady still has to put it in play. And, uh, you know, the tipping point would be that he's done more. He never had the greatest receiver of all time in Jerry Rice. You know, Brady does more with less than anybody. You could even say they didn't even have a John Taylor also. No. I mean, you could could even continue down that path. Um, Roger Craig. Doesn't it blow your mind like a guy like Tom Brady, who I'm sure you get asked about all the time, how does this guy play season after season with so few injuries? It's almost unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, you get pretty damn banged up in a football game. It's crazy. Yeah. Also, Brady is one of the more conditioned players we've ever seen yeah. in all of sports. Right. And I confirmed. saw most of them in my lifetime live, um, and I used to struggle with the same thing you're struggling with now, right. Montana over Brady. However, I think it's unassailable now. I think it's clear that Brady is the greatest quarterback of all time, whether we take into account rings, stats, right. longevity, leadership, none of which, by the way, on those abstract qualities is Montana lacking. Right, right. It's just that Brady has so far exceeded everyone's expectation, not just for himself, but what we can demand of other human beings. On those levels. And so Tom Brady, to me, is the, the greatest quarterback of all time. I'm sorry, that's not far enough. Tom Brady is the greatest football player of all time, regardless of position. He has mastered the sport in a way no other person has. How old is John Harbaugh right now? Look that one up. Because he and Lamar Jackson... 57. Okay, so he's got a coach till he's 75. Right? He's got to coach till he's 75 and win and win and win six of the nine Super Bowls he and Lamar Jackson have to go to in the next 18 years in order to match what Brady and Belichick just did. It's It's insane. Yeah, it's nuts. Here's a quarterback. When I watch pro football games, college games, you can literally see, and I actually lost games for our team by throwing poorly, throwing interceptions. I have not seen Tom Brady lose a game for his team. Is he the greatest that ever was? I would have to say he's the best at answering the challenge there ever was. Yes, I've not seen anybody have that many big games right. and answer the challenge as well as he has. We will never see someone with seven Super Bowls on their resume as a quarterback again. I mean, think about it, Dan. Aaron Rodgers, let's just put everybody yeah. that's in the class of elite We'll throw in Flacco. Just how many times? Do they even have seven appearances together? I, I'm just saying, like, Aaron Rodgers couldn't get back there again, even though he was red hot this year. Ben Roethlisberger's been in three. He just came four quarters shy of his fourth. Eli's been in two. Russell Wilson's 28. He's been in two. You got Breeze. I mean, you know, I'm just saying, when, when are we going to see somebody, even if Dak Prescott, becomes the guy that all the Cowboys fans think seven yeah seven in 15 years it's yeah. incredible we'll never we will never see I think we could safely say we will never see something like that and who's again. to say he wouldn't do it next year as well eighth yeah because it you know it's interchangeable parts there and somehow remember when Brady's problem was was his offensive line like a year ago he didn't have a good offensive like we we mm-hmm. keep saying oh boy the, the end could be near and right but it, it somehow it, it just somehow works. So you take him over the, you know, people will say Jim Brown. People will say Jerry, Jerry Rice. Rice because he's so far above wide receivers. You say Tom Brady's the best of all time. In an all-time fantasy draft, Tom Brady has to be would, the number one. Would you one have one Montana day. number two? I would. Which I would put big, Montana above Manning. Which is yes. interesting because you would have, number one, a sixth-round pick and number two, a third-round pick Well, th- yeah. that's, uh, before that's, you get to yeah. any number one picks overall in the draft. So why? 
At age 43, is he starting over? Gotta put him off, boys. Is Belichick going to want to groom the next Brady? Mm. Does he say, when you go, I go? Do they do two more years or three more years and then that's it? That's what I'm curious about. Is the next reincarnation of the Patriots 2.0, is it Jimmy Garoppolo or is it somebody we're not even factoring in right now? Well, I mean, you could say that these Patriots are like already on a 6.0, right? But just have the same quarterback and, and yeah. coach. We, I mean, The first when we were here for that Super Bowl against Carolina. Yeah. Just think about it. Antoine Smith was their running back. Yeah. Troy Brown, we could go down David Patton. David it's Givens. David Givens. Yeah. I mean, now look at who they have here. It's a totally different cast with the exception of, obviously, some of the coaches. The man with six Super Bowl rings once said his favorite is the next one. I love Montana, Notre Dame. Brady's better than Montana, and I'll sit and say that. Montana clearly, I mean, in his era... Spoken oh, like, like a true Notre Dame guy from I New Jersey to. went to Seton Hall. And here's oh, a hot take. <laughs> here's a hot take. Brady, oh, no, Brady's all those last... Notre Dame fans, uh, literally, like 60% of Notre Dame fans didn't go to the school. No, I think... The second know. half of Brady's career is better than Montana's whole career. Thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe as I post a new Tom Brady video every day.